Greetings, this is Dave with Double Equipment. This video, we're gonna go over how to adjust the stitcher head to get the perfect staple. So, we're gonna show you how to get the leg lengths equal. While we're at it, we'll thread the head and put it on the test machine and show you how to do all that too. But basically, we're gonna go over this adjustment when you loosen this and move the face plate up and down, that makes your staples longer or shorter, or the legs on your staple longer, I'm sorry, shorter or longer. Then there's an adjustment up here. <clears throat> this screw right here and this lock. When you unlock this and you adjust the screw, you're allowing this casting to be higher or lower, which essentially will adjust the left leg independently. So it can make this leg longer or shorter so that it matches the right leg. So we're gonna put all we're gonna put this this stitcher head on a uh, test machine, thread it up. Alright, we got the head mounted on our test machine so we can demonstrate some of these settings. First I'm going to thread the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the wire down through the wire straightener. I'm going to pass up this uh, anti-kickback. This is this part here keeps the wire from pulling back out of the head. This is our grip. We're going to pass those two up. We're going to go right on through the cutters and push enough wire out that we can hold it. We're going to put these two things in now. Let me demonstrate. <clears throat> I know my hand's in the way. <clears throat> so I'll pass this up. Pass up the grip. And I'll put it right into the cutter hole. Then I keep pushing it. Until it's sticking out of the bottom of the head. Pull out about a foot of wire. Make sure your swivel is connected <clears throat> open up well I'm gonna move this so you can see open up this push the wire back behind there so now we're in there open the grip make sure the wires in the grip now I'm gonna reach down here and hold on to the piece of wire and cycle the head and I cut the piece of wire off <clears throat> now the heads threaded So you get some, when you're setting up your jobs, you're going to look at your staples and see how they look. <clears throat> These wire legs are touching. So this is all up to you how you like the staples to look. Personally, I like to leave about a sixteenth of an inch gap in there. So normally on these heads, <clears throat> All you need to do is take a screwdriver, loosen this screw, move the face plate up or down. Moving it up makes the staples longer. Moving it down makes the staples shorter. So I move the face plate down just a little bit, lock that screw back up. Now we'll compare how the staples look. So there's our staple that's too long, and those are the staples after the adjustment. You can see there's a little gap in there. I'm going to make more of a gap <clears throat> so that we can really see these leg lengths. So we put a little more of a gap in there. Now I'm going to play with the, the left leg adjustment. So there's a little set screw <clears throat> right here in the casting normally. And there are different styles of this adjustment, but this is the most common. So you loosen that little set screw, 
that allows you to turn the adjustment screw behind here to take a wrench and I like using a wrench instead of a screwdriver especially if there's two heads next to each other crack this loose make your adjustment turning the screw clockwise will raise this casting you might see it going up that will shorten the leg so let's do a couple staples and see what happens here <clears throat> see the legs aren't the same they're they're not matched up so now I'll loosen this. I'm going to go the other way, counterclockwise. Now when you turn this screw counterclockwise, the casting won't automatically move down because this adjustment screw is just a stop. So in that case, you have to tap the casting down. And then we'll lock it. And the, uh, the adjustment goes a long way. A little adjustment goes has a big effect. After you've done it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. So now we'll test. Now that first that first staple in there doesn't count because that's that was already loaded in the head before we made the adjustment. But you see how we went from from this with the uh, uneven legs to this with the even legs so what you want to do is <clears throat> you know this adjustment does your overall stitcher length you know thicker or thinner material this adjustment this lock and that adjustment screw back there mat get your legs to match so once you once you adjust this up here you, sh you should be good to go. This adjustment, the faceplate adjustment, synchronizes those two. Um, you're just using this to make a balance. You know, if you run different wire or you go from one extreme to another, you know, like real thin material, real thick. If your legs, if your legs aren't even, just make this adjustment till you get them like you want them. And like I said, I leave like a little, me personally, a sixteenth of an inch gap in there. Um, I don't want the legs crashing into each other, and then I don't want them real too short. You know, too short sometimes it just to me looks ugly. So to make a nice staple, um, just use this adjustment up here to make these legs the same, so they match. You don't have to really worry about counterclockwise, clockwise, all that stuff. Just remember which way you went with your adjustment. Did it get worse? Did it get better? Um, you know. And just keep track of what you're doing and make small adjustments until you get a nice, clean-looking, symmetrical staple. Um, if you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to let me know. And if, you, if there's other videos you'd like to see on stitcher heads or things about stitcher heads, you know, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.